So Nomic just released GPT for all 3.0, and let me tell you folks, it looks pretty promising. For those unfamiliar, GPT for all is an impressive open source application that allows you to run large language models right on your desktop. This means no cloud and no data sharing with big tech companies. Everything stays local and private. So what's the big deal with version 3.0? Well, first off, it's free, totally open source. You can access it from Nomic AI, GPT for all without spending a dime. I'll put a link in the description. And the best part, it doesn't matter if you're team Windows, Mac, or Linux, it works across the board. Plus, this baby supports an impressive array of AI models. Now onto the juicy improvements. The folks over at Nomic, the brains behind GPT for all, have overhauled the user interface. It's now slicker and more intuitive, very easy to navigate in. I guess they really dialed into the user feedback that they received, crafting an interface that's really a no-brainer to use, whether you're a tech whiz or not. One killer feature they've buffed up is called Local Docs. This feature is a real game changer. It lets you interact with your documents through AI. Um, imagine querying your work docs, research, or personal notes and getting insights right there on your machine. Your data never hits the internet. So you know what, folks, in this period where privacy is gold, I think that's a massive win. And just to hit you with some numbers, this project has skyrocketed to become the third fastest growing repository on GitHub ever. For those out of the loop, GitHub is basically the beating heart of software development. GPT for All boasts over 250,000 monthly active users and has racked up 65,000 stars on GitHub and sees about 70,000 downloads of its Python package every single month. Those are some hefty figures showing just how big of a splash GPT for All is making. Right, let's zoom out for a second and consider the broader vision. About a year ago, Nomic, the team behind GPT for All, noticed a troubling trend. AI technology was increasingly being hoarded by a handful of big companies. They envisioned a, well, a different path, democratizing AI to make it available to everyone. I guess not just the Silicon Valley elites with their deep pockets and sprawling data centers. They sparked this vision by launching their own AI model based on the Stanford Alpaca model, as they say, and paired it with a user-friendly interface that anyone could handle. No tech wizardry required. I mean, it's so straightforward. If you can navigate a smartphone, you, you can master GPT-4. Now let's take a closer look at the local docs feature. It's really interesting, folks. Picture this. You're having a conversation with an AI about your documents, whether it's spreadsheets, quick notes, or even a digital diary. Need a quick summary of a long report? Or maybe you're trying to find a tiny detail in a mountain of files. I'm thinking local docs could be the answer. And the best part is that everything stays on your machine. Your data remains yours alone, which I really think is, well, it's essential. You know, ladies and gentlemen, the Nomic team has been hard at work beefing up local docs, enhancing the local vector database that lets the AI smartly navigate and pull data from your documents. They're leveraging something called Nomic Embed text, a cutting-edge tool that transforms text into a language AI can easily digest and interact with. Then the team is already plotting the next set of enhancements driven by real user feedback. I think it's evident they're all in on this mission to make AI both accessible and private for all of us. And while there are other platforms that let you play around with language models, many of them are pretty locked down and proprietary. They don't really prioritize privacy like GPT for all does. And usually they require you to have a pretty hefty slice of AI know-how just to get by. GPT for all is all about closing that gap, making this potent tech accessible to everyone. So if you have a thing for AI, care about keeping your data private, or just want to dip your toes into some cutting edge tech, I guess GPT for all 3.0 is definitely worth the look. You get to tinker with various language models, have conversations with your documents, and really dive into what AI can do, all without stressing about your data ending up on some big corporation server. And yes, it's completely free and open source. That means you can use it, tweak it, or even chip in on its development if that's your jam. Speaking of accessible AI folks, there's another player making wave, and that's Perplexity AI with their latest update. 
They've just beefed up their pro search feature with what they're calling multi-step reasoning. It might sound a bit technical, but trust me, it's pretty slick. What it does is it lets their AI piece together multiple searches to answer really complex questions. But that's just the start. They've got a few more tricks up their sleeve. Now their AI can run code and even solve math problems, all thanks to teaming up with Wolfram Alpha. If you haven't heard about Wolfram Alpha, it's like a powerhouse in crunching numbers and solving equations. Perplexity AI operates on a freemium model. This means you can give their pro search a whirl for free, but there's a cap. You get five pro searches every four hours without spending a dime. If you want more, you'll need to subscribe to Perplexity Pro, and that'll set you back $20 a month, which I guess it's pretty standard for AI services these days. But how does this stack up in real use? The team at Android Authority took it for a spin, asking Perplexity to answer a not-so-simple question, comparing the returns of two stock indices over 10 years while also considering currency exchange rates. For most of us, that's a headache and a half, but Perplexity, though, broke it down into manageable steps and delivered a detailed answer. Now, it's important to note that the snazzy ProSearch upgrade seems to be making its debut in stages. The test has noted that it performs optimally with a US-based IP address. So if you're tuning in from elsewhere, well, you might need to wait a bit longer to get it. However, there's an intriguing twist, folks. Perplexity has been under the microscope lately regarding their data sourcing practices. A probe by Wired raised eyebrows with findings that suggest perplexity might be sidestepping some usual web protocols designed to block content scraping. Put simply, they could be snagging content from news outlets without the green light. Moreover, another critique points to the quality of sources perplexity taps into. It seems they sometimes pull from rather obscure corners of the web, like even LinkedIn posts. Now, why does this matter? Well, sourcing info from dodgy places means there's a real danger of the AI dishing out what we call in the biz AI hallucinations. Assertions that AI thinks are absolutely legit but are totally off base, which we discussed in more detail in the video about Critic GPT, the new AI from OpenAI that critiques ChatGPT specifically on errors, hallucinations, etc. So these gripes about content scraping and iffy sources are no small thing. I think they serve as a stark reminder that while AI packs a punch, it's, well, it's not perfect. I mean, we still have to double check the facts, especially the big ticket issues. But now I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of GBT for all? Will you give it a shot? Let me know in the comments. And also share your thoughts on Perplexity Pro's search feature and its recent quality drops. And if you've already taken it for a test drive, I'm all ears. Uh, share how it all went. Check out the recommended videos and as always, see you in the next one folks. You all take care.